Welcome back to another episode of Fitness with Shanu. So here we're going to talk about sleep and diet. Now out of these two things, even though they are interrelated, diet is the most important. I know you must have gone onto the internet and seen so many diet plans. The keto diet plan is there. We have the VLCC diet plan and all. They're wonderful things. But now, without understanding the basics of what exactly happens and what kind of metabolism do you have when you consume the three main macronutrients, which is the carbohydrates, the protein, and the fats, and how do they metabolize in your system, and what kind of hormones and what kind of enzymes work on them, what is good to eat, what is not good to eat, is there in the market out there. But now, what is the balanced kind of diet, and what exactly happens when you have too much of energy in your body, but you are not consuming it? How does it turn into the fat and the adipose tissue? I'm going to discuss everything over here in this plan itself. Now. Before I go ahead, I'm going to tell you something. I learned something from the Colorado University of Food and Health when I did that program in the Colorado University. They taught me something very, very crucial, which is going to be there in the next part of this episode. So keep on watching till the end because I'm going to cover a lot of things. And before I go ahead, do go ahead and subscribe and click on the bell notification because this is not just the one single video which I'm going to make. There are going to be many parts to it. I want to share everything which I learned from the university with you. And the university was fabulous. They taught me beautiful things. So let's go ahead, click on that subscribe button and click on that notification. Let's go ahead now. So when you watch till the end of this video, I'm going to share with you a beautiful secret. And this secret has got something to do with your thoughts. You see, when we have certain kind of thoughts, they actually have an effect on our hormones. The hypothalamus, the pituitary gland, and as simple as the adrenal gland, the HPA index, they completely are intertwined and they react to your thoughts. And that's what decides whether you're going to gain weight or whether you're going to lose weight. So keep watching till the end. I'm going to share all these secrets with you about how meditation, how thoughts can work in your life. So diet was the right one. Let me help you choose what's the right amount of calories which you should take right now at this moment. And our main energy sources are salt, fats and sugar. Are you taking them right? However, there are some more over here. Let's explore them right now. When taken in the right balance, these carbs, proteins and fats are the three main important macronutrients which you need. So let's talk about carbs first. They're simple and complex ones. Which one is the easily digestible one? Let's see. Let's explore glucose, which is the monosaccharides and the polysaccharides. So glucose fruits are the right source of glucose to so low fat accumulation. Like just simple fruit juices, which you consume or the fibrous ones, which give you both glucose and the fiber. They give you natural fruit sugar and you should give them a chance instead of unnatural or processed sugars. White sugar is a chemically processed poison for bones, gastritis and eyesight. Imagine the acidity which you end up having daily. How about the packaged foods which have been processed and have unnatural sugar? You will find corn syrup in all the sodas which you have been consuming right now. High fructose content when not digested properly turns to adipose that is fat and too much sugar is overworking your pancreas. We may look for alternatives but you see no sugar, no calories is not the truth. They have unnatural sugar in them. And these candies are just pure fructose. Imagine what you're having. We also see them as heavily coated sugar carbs. Sweetened wheat flour makes you a heavyweight champion. Avoid them. Almost all yogurts are dosed with fructose. It's for you to decide now the right source and in a balanced amount which one do you want in this. So the sugars have also alternatives and one is jaggery molasses. It's cooked till it darkens and is consumable as a sugar alternative for sure. I have it every day. There are varieties available too. Try jaggery cookies. Bake them at home. They are wonderful and awesome. Now, healthy alternatives. They do not create acidity, no joint aches. Honey too is an alternative. It keeps the body warm and provides vitamin and minerals to you. You should try it as an alternative for processed sugar. It's beautiful. Try ginger lemon honey. You can even add jaggery or honey to your desserts and have them. I try it with my wife. Now let's talk about the complex carbs, the more complex to digest. Starch in bread, pasta, rice, cereals, oats, barley. 
the west is consuming them a lot and that's why there's obesity in the western countries now if sugar coated and consumed in higher quantity you'll have more of adipose tissue as fats if you don't burn them properly so you can control the diet while flour is fiberless thus hard to digest and causes type 2 diabetes so white flour no no western world staple diet is causing indigestion type 2 diabetes and obesity we have whole wheat flour atta noodle as a better alternative in india especially now whole wheat spaghetti pastas are available and are best alternative to white flour white flour imagine plus high protein meat diet results in fat storage in body and starch over consumption means extra energy adipose tissue fat storage more of potatoes potatoes reduce them increase your veggies rice is also starch it also gives you starch there's corn starch also a big no no to all these things are all the wrong sugars sources other than the fruits you can see over here taken in moderate quantity and mixing with fibrous fruits is advisable if you're having them sugary carbs and baked in fat base low in fiber just not good for your weight loss so what's the healthier source for sugar energy in our diet imagine choose properly india and some middle eastern countries consume whole wheat flour it is filled with fiber and is the right carbs for you to consume the healthy indian fulka every western can include in their diet we indians have it let's talk about proteins now the second important macronutrient you see you have the tofu milk nuts vegetables and pulses you even have meat i don't talk about them some of them are equivalent to poultry products when it comes to protein you can sprout them and use in salads or stir fry them in the right oil which i'll be talking about which is the right oil amazing sources of protein and fiber and alternative to poultry now i personally consume 3 to 4 almonds 3 to 4 times a week you will be amazed to know that fruits do are a source of proteins exactly check them out i'll see a leave a description down below and i consume 3 to 4 times a week especially mangoes so who said that veggies don't have proteins check them out spinach has more than some poultry products you just have to start it now as an alternative now let's talk about the fats the three most important things over here what's the right source of fats think about it do you want your triglycerides or your adipose tissue or the fat to increase keep a regular 3 to 4 6 month check on your triglycerides if you're having poultry some fats are good and some are not let's check them out saturated and trans fats are not the good ones when it comes to weight loss check them when you buy something in the stores saturated fats are solid at room temperature in the body they are solid too and accumulate cheese and pastas pizza are a deadly combination there is a right time and quantity for its consumption especially not at late nights pork fats are trans fats and the hardest to digest and accumulates as fat avoid it lot of pork fat used in cooking at some restaurants and bakery under your nose be careful what you're eating don't overdo it's that's it so now trans fats oils used in restaurants are really not for consumption even in pastries imagine the laziness dullness heaviness burps indigestion felt after that is it worth it cooking in trans fats plus animal protein means unlucky tummy high carb drinks and trans fat fried meats are poison coronary artery disease coronary vascular diseases are you still addicted to it are you processed food is cooked in trans fat for longevity imagine all the overload on pancreas liver heart and stomach which you are leading to is it all worth it so margarine big products frozen pizza poultry fried foods all have trans fats check these out before your consumption so this is on all of your packaged products cheaper than refined oil yes palm oil is being used it is close to trans fat now better than refined oils or unsaturated oils not at all see how fatty acid triglycerides accumulate when you having trans fats they are not at all good not even the palm oil breaking them down is an uphill climb for your body and then the stretch marks left after exercising you don't like it i'm sure adipose tissue as fats layers are accumulating under your skin very close under your skin actually high cholesterol and triglycerides get deposited in arteries when you're not burning your fats keep them in check with right diet exercise and meditation yes meditation imagine this do you want to be like this imagine the taste is good but then the fat 
consumption. So the choices which you make right now for your children right from the beginning, do you know what to change now for them and for yourself and your family? Choose the right thing for the long term. Let this year be the beginning. 2020 is your day for health and a year for health. More vegetables, fruits, whole wheat, grain, pulses, cereals than poultry. Right diet, exercise and meditation. Check out my videos on meditation too. Plan out 2020, action out and have goals in your life. A very balanced diet is required for you for this. Now, a balanced platter gives you complete three macronutrients. Imagine the energy which alcohol and fats have, 9 cal per gram. Your digestion is hitting your limits to calories. Check them out. Check what are you consuming, what kind of fats, what kind of sugars are you consuming. Check. Balanced it should be with vegetables no packaged processed foods as carbs no don't do it high time to kick them out of your life it's very important very crucial for you chart out your own diet plan you know your body best and after reading this you understand what to do know your target weight loss and start early morning with this exercise and stretches till it gets out of the way your tummy warning sudden dieting leads to low blood sugar and blood pressure be careful Gain flexibility first before you try out strenuous weight loss exercises. Very crucial. Follow my fitness with Shanu exercises. I'll be uploading some simple ones too. The extended ones and the extensive ones are there. Each one is going to be simple very soon. Drink a lot of water as per your body weight and climatic conditions in hotter zones, more water. Vegetarian diet avoids colon cancer and digestive tract issues. Also, veggies are easy on your kidneys as compared to the poultry. Watch out the time for meals. Please no late night snacking after 9pm even for your sleep. Keep a check. Be conscious of what you ate and its quantity. Happy shopping with your family. Your thoughts are vibrations affecting your food also which you shop for. Be in a good mood to cook. Sending good vibrations while cooking is very important for your digestion and do it together. Kitchen is like a temple. Think pure and cook. So what is your choice? So I hope you enjoyed the diet info video and as I had promised to you that in the end I'm going to share with you certain secrets about how meditation, how thoughts are going to affect your complete HPA which is the hypothalamus which is the pituitary and the adrenal glands in your body and how these are controlled by your thoughts. So let's go ahead let's explore what exactly does meditation and what exactly do affirmations do to you in your life. So the simple affirmation which I use in my own life on a daily basis whenever I know that my feelings and thoughts are going up and down and I understand on a very scientific basis which I have learned from meditation that your thoughts can actually make an effect on your complete hormonal level. Example, simply think about a lemon right now. You must have done it also, most probably. Or if you think about tamarind, if you concentrate on the thought of tamarind in your mouth, or if you concentrate on the thought of having lemon in your mouth, suddenly out of nowhere, you have, you'll have a saliva which is going to taste very sour. Haven't you experienced that? That's what I'm talking about. You see, you don't really have the tamarind. You don't really have the lemon in your mouth. But what exactly is happening? Where is that taste coming from? So your hypothalamus, your pituitary and your adrenal glands are so strong, including your salivary glands, that your thoughts are actually creating that effect in your mouth right now. So imagine what can they do to your complete digestive system if your thoughts can have an effect on your saliva. So here, whenever we are thinking, we need to think the right kind of thoughts. So what is the right kind of affirmation or thoughts which I create in my life when I get up in the morning? let's say around 4 o'clock or 4.30 early, early in the morning, I say to myself that I am thankful and grateful for everything which is there around me right now. I thank you God. I thank all the souls in this world and I thank all the five elements right from the bottom. And now I also thank myself for being happy right now. And I say to myself that I am a happy and a content soul. You see, just the thoughts, even though they might not feel right right now at the moment, you might be facing financial conditions, you might be facing relationship issues, which actually I have discussed in most of my videos, you can have a look in them. 
as to how to change your thoughts and how to actually face those kind of situations be it your relationships be it a breakup be it any kind of past turmoils in your life that's another topic go ahead and watch those videos but now let's think about this thought i am a happy and a content soul whenever i am thinking that i'm a happy and a content soul what is going on in me i am creating thoughts which are not leading to any kind of stress because my system of hypothalamus pituitary and adrenaline it actually behaves and reacts to the stress which i create in my thoughts so if i'm creating stressful thoughts like i'm unhappy i'm not doing things as i want to do or i am not content with what is happening in my life or i wish i hope when i'm creating these kind of negative or waste thoughts what is happening is the hypothalamus the pituitary and the adrenal glands are getting activated they are interconnected so they are sending signals right from the hypothalamus to the pituitary and pituitary is sending signals to the adrenal glands which are right there responsible for your flight and fight also response and also your cortisol levels which are deciding your metabolism so if your metabolism is being decided by your adrenal glands then imagine when you are angry when you are stressful when you are blaming others what is happening to you you are releasing more and more of cortisols adrenaline cortisols are being released into your blood stream and what is that to me you see cortisol increases the metabolism of fat and at the same time carbohydrates in your body it actually increases the glycogenesis process that means that your liver starts turning more and more of fat into glucose and it spreads it out into your complete blood stream that's why you have high blood sugar not just that whenever you are in stress the cortisols are increasing the metabolism as i said of your fats and carbohydrates that means you're burning more and more you are full of energy at that time you see anger takes a lot of energy away you need to be energetic when you're angry you need to be out bursting when you're angry and when you're bursting out in anger you are actually burning more of carbohydrates and more of fats and when you do so what is happening you feel hungry when you're feeling hungry what happens you start having more of sugars because you suddenly low in sugar you consume a lot of things your muscles are taken in a lot of things a lot of energy a lot of atp is produced in your body and now suddenly your glucose levels have dipped down that's why you want to have something sweet you want to suddenly savor on something and sometimes you even having things not at the right time you having meals in between your overeating at time you having at late night and this is what is the reason for high metabolism and this is what is reason why you are gaining weight so cortisol levels if they are high your heart rate also increases because when you are angry your heart rate increases your blood has to push all the energy which has been created all the glucose into all different parts of your body now your muscles they also become insulin resistant when your cortisol levels work high they work very high i put a description link down below you can read through that also now when your cortisol levels are high and your insulin resistance is increased so what is happening your glucose is there that means your sugar level in the blood is high and you end up having type 2 diabetes now not just that type 2 diabetes also leads to increase in your weight or your weight also leads to increase in your type 2 diabetes now imagine you're feeling hungry all the time you have carbohydrates and fats which are getting metabolized quickly you are suddenly going to have a lot of energy in your muscles and suddenly what's going to happen is there's going to be a dip suddenly you're going to feel some lethargy in your muscles that's why when i talk about fitness the fitness and the diet and the thoughts they work together imagine you getting angry at night and sleeping at night and the next day early morning when you get up for having a fitness with shadow regime you're suddenly drained out you don't have that much of energy in your body what do you do then you realize that yes i got angry i got pissed off or i was in a negative mood or i was reading something which was very negative in my life or i read a negative news and i slipped off now that also creates stress i'm going to create another video about all these things now when we sleep watch my sleep video when we sleep if we create stress and we sleep i've mentioned a lot of things which create stress in a sleep video go ahead and watch that which is connected to this video too now when we create that kind of stress and when we try to sleep imagine what is the digestion which is happening in your body your energy levels are not being utilized when you're sleeping you have all your fats and carbohydrates being burned by the cortisol levels high and that time you're sleeping off because of that high level of stress you have so much of glucose in your 
that which is not being used what's going to happen to that that glucose level that energy is going to get transformed into triglycerides into fatty acids into adipose tissues which i've also discussed in some parts of this video about diet you must have seen the beginning part of it i hope and you've not scrolled down to it to read this message now when you're sleeping and you have a high level of glucose is getting converted into fat imagine what's going to happen you're going to gain more fat when you're sleeping yes sleep also can lead to either fat loss or fat increase so what do you do if you want to reduce your weight the diet is important that's very very important the second thing is your thoughts are very very crucial meditate with me i'm going to upload certain videos i've even uploaded certain videos about soul consciousness about who am i watch those videos understand what exactly i was shared in them it's all interlinked to diet to sleep to meditation to your thoughts everything is interconnected if you just watch one video of mine you won't understand the complete concept the concept of soul consciousness even in your relationships because if you're stressed out in your relationships your relationships can also lead to bad relationships can relationships can actually lead to weight gain when you're depressed because of a breakup you lead to weight gain so watch my breakup videos too they're all interconnected so here i will request you again to watch all my episodes and i also mentioned to you one more thing that if you don't subscribe now you're not going to be notified about the other more videos which you are going to upload and if you find this interesting if you think there's certain things which are beautiful in this which i've shared with you do go ahead and share do spread the good news and be in love be in peace be in happiness be content with yourself use this mantra early in the morning when you get up and even before you sleep i am a happy soul I am a content soul. I leave you with these thoughts. Take care. Bye bye.